It was 1880 and Knoxville was booming. A hundred factories were built during the decade and the city grew from 8,600 people to over 33,000 by the century's end. It was a time when people had to live downtown to be near their work. But a change would soon occur to transform this way of life. It would flourish for 50 years and suddenly be gone. It began with this, Knoxville's first streetcar, powered by a mule. By the early 1900s, streetcars had electrified Knoxville. This is one of the old streetcars that used to travel through Knoxville. Around the turn of the century, everybody rode streetcars. Over 19 million people in 1923 alone. There was nothing faster or smoother. There'd be so many people come to town that uh, that sidewalks wouldn't hold them. They'd overflow into the streets, and, and we'd have to be careful. We'd have to be careful not, not to hurt some of them. Until the last trip in 1947, streetcars connected the city and the countryside, weaving together people's lives for miles around. For the first time ever, people could live outside the city and commute to work. But the busiest day was Sunday. Back in those days, uh, uh, the, the only recreation that the city of Knoxville had was uh, Fountain City Park down here and Chill Highway Park. That, 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 was, that, that was only recreation uh, that the city of Knoxville had because it didn't have the Smokies back in them days. Go down you! We had more trouble on Yale Avenue. That was a better part of town. They'd, they'd, uh, they'd call in uh, about it, making so much racket they couldn't sleep, you know. Talked to an awful lot of people, old writers, that, that still know me, even though I've been retired 15 years. They, they still know me. They rode streetcars with me back in those days. Everybody was friendly back in those days, and, and uh, uh, just like you sitting here smiling and whatnot, they'd get on, and, you know, uh, just, just like a part of your family or something. I love the trolleys. I love to drive a streetcar. Uh, 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 just tell you the truth about it. Uh, uh, I, uh, some, sometimes I'd, I'd hate to see quitting time come. I love to drive that streetcar so good. A layer of asphalt now covers the old streetcar lines, replaced by the next symbol of progress. Cars and buses enable shopping centers and jobs to spring up around the city. But now people no longer came together for their trip downtown. What was lost was a sense of community. The age of streetcars was over, and the heart of the city would never beat as soundly again. 